my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys how are you guys doing i hope you guys are staying safe and sound being safe with everything that's going on anyways this is um this is a quick spell that i am actually doing for a client and i figured i might as well record this to help you guys and assist you guys those of you guys that are having monetary difficulties at the moment uh, this is not only to cleanse and remove any blockages in regards to abundance, in regards to money, prosperity, but this is also to bring in uh, abundance, stability, and um, money. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get on with the spell. All right, my lovelies, how are you guys? I hope that you guys are doing amazing. It's been a crazy, crazy hectic week and we have just been extremely bombarded with not only work, but also with a lot of consultations. So I want to thank all of you guys that have reached out. Anyways, let's get to the needy greeting. This is a money spell. It is called 711 money spell. And what we do, as you guys can see here, we've already consecrated and ritualized the candle that we're going to be using, as well as the ingredients that are going to go into the spell work. But uh, primarily what this spell is for is to remove not only a blockbuster spell, um, but it's actually a spell in itself. So what, it, what I mean by that is there is... Uh, Thousands of different spells that you can do. Some have the attributes of opening or clearing the way, removing blockages, cleansing, stuff like that. This integrates not only cleansing, meaning removing any blockages that you may be experiencing in regards to money, in regards to stability, if you've been having a streak of bad luck, if you just cannot find a stable job or you're having difficulties in regards to money, for those of you guys that work in sales, this is ideally for that as well. Um, like I said, it, it does serve as a blockbuster remover for any blockages that you may be dealing with in regards to money itself. But it also serves as an attraction to bring towards you not only money in the physical aspect, but opportunities as well. Opportunities that in the long run can assist you um, to increase or to make more money. So without further ado, let's get into the ingredients, what you're going to be needing. So you're going to be needing a green or black marker, or ideally you're going to be using both. You're also going to be needing a black cat candle or a um, purple black candle or green. So you can only use black, green, or purple, ideally specifically for this spell, okay? Now you're also going to be needing a tray or somewhere where you can do your work. Uh, you're also going to be needing um, jade paper. So. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this. Uh, I, I've spoken about jade paper in the past in other spell works in regards to money. And this has been used, this is what's called ancestral money. And this could be used for a multitude of things. This can be used to bring abundance and opulence and success to you. But this can also serve as a rendering or offering to your ancestor lineage or bloodline. So there is many ways of working uh, with jade money, particularly for this spell. We're going to use it because it's going to help us. It's going to assist us in removing um, blockages. So a lot of the times, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced like you meet someone or even yourself maybe where you've been like you feel like you've been struggling all your life when it comes to money when it comes to finding stability, whether it's in, uh, let's stick with money, but it can be in different aspects. It could be in love. It can be in, you know, just feeling like everything is always like so difficult to achieve for yourself or success is always like at an arm's length. 
you feel like you're progressing, but things always happen in a way where you end up feeling like you just can't catch a break. Well, ancestral money is used specifically for that. Why? Because our bloodline, you know, our family members, people in our bloodline, uh, perhaps have practiced, perhaps have gone to do spell work, etc. And all of that, you know, it, it does add up to your karmic debt. So um, when we use ancestral money, what we're doing is we're basically offering that to our ancestors that have passed. We're offering it as a uh, rendering, um, rendering on a spiritual level, almost like paying their debts, releasing any karmic um juju that you're carrying from that bloodline or from that relative or from that family member etc so anyways i can go about it forever but we're trying to do this a quick <laughs> video so we're going to be using ancestral money jade money um if you guys don't know how to find this it's uh you would go to an oriental uh type of store or an asian store or if you can't, then you can always obviously shop online, look for that. Uh, this is also considered or called hell money. Um, so you can order that online. Anyways, uh, we have those in our website as well. Okay, so you're going to be needing a jade money. You're going to be needing a parchment paper. You're also going to be needing silver magnetic sand. You can use silver your, or you can use gold. Ideally, uh, for this specific spell, I feel that every time I use a silver magnetic sand for clients, they get quicker results than the gold. Why? I don't know. Perhaps uh, the spirits just prefer the silver. So we're going to be using silver magnetic sand. Like I said, a black, uh, green or purple uh, black cat candle. You're also going to be needing... Um, some type of money oil as you guys know i do my own oils and we're going to be using for this specific one we're going to be using lucky seven uh, money oil and i'm also going to be using um my own uh, money oil that we use um we're going to be using that as well as we're going to be using some lucky don dinero this can be, you can find these on our online store or you can find these in botanical shops uh, and some Florida water, okay? Now, uh, you can use any type of oil, like I said, as long as it's for money, um, abundance, dinero, success, anything like that. Uh, even uh, John D. Conquer oil you can use as well as it's going to help you and assist you with this, Okay. You're also going to be using five finger grass. Um, now, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of Devil's Shoestring. This is a very powerful, um, very powerful ingredient to use in any type of spell work that has to do with protection and that has to do with power. So we're going to be using some of some of that as well as some uh, orange um, orange leaf oil. Uh, oranges obviously are used for success, for abundance, for opulence, money, wealth. Uh, so we're going to be using some of our oil um, as well. Okay, let's get into this. My lovely so let's witch. What we're going to do, as you guys can see, I've been burning uh, sage. Uh, you guys can use sage um, or you can use frankincense or patchouli to cleanse and remove any negative or excess negative energy that may be around you. I've been having that for a good about 20 minutes now. Um, and I was actually, I started recording after uh, just because when we get to the jade money, uh, we use a mixture of the sage or like I said, um, uh, uh, patchouli leaves you can also burn um, for this specific spell work okay all right so like I said we're gonna be using that in a bit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the black oh, or green or purple uh, cat candle 
And what we're going to do is we're going to inscribe our name, our first, last name, and date of birth. And all around it, what you're going to do is you're going to inscribe exactly what it is that you want. So as an example, if you're looking for a specific amount that you're trying to bring in every month, as an example, then you would write that down and you would write it down, not in uh, numerical, but you would actually spell it out. Um, so you can put, you know, basically anything. If you guys are doing this to get a, you know, a stable job, you would put, um, I'm calling in, or you would just write on the candle, uh, stable job or good job or getting hired, money, abundance, stability, uh, anything you can possibly think of, you can write it on the cat candle, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is, before we get into that, I'm going to put this to the side, and what we're going to do here is we're going to get some of the Florida water as well as the money, um, Don Dinero, uh, liquids and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cleanse uh, the plate or the tray that you're using for this specific spell now Florida water you guys already know that it is to cleanse it is to uh, replenish it is to basically remove or amplify uh, to remove any energies or energies that are unwanted um, but as well it is used to empower the spell work that is about to begin. So we're also going to get some of the Don Dinero, Mr. Money. You can get these. Um, you can get these at, uh, I think they sell them in any botanical shop. You can order them online as well. You're always uh, able to do that. Anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to rub this around. Okay, now you can go in a counterclockwise position. Uh, and the reason why we go counterclockwise first is because we are uh, removing, we are banishing any negative or any energies that are unwanted. And then we're going to go in a clockwise position. And this is where I begin. Um, depending on who you work with, meaning what deities, what spirits you work with, this is the process where you would call upon them. So I'm working on specific spirits, <clears throat> sorry, with specific spirits and my saint. So at this point in time, I call upon all my spirit guides and ancestors. I ask you to please step forward, my archangels, please step forward and guide me in this work that is about to commence for my client. I call upon her spirit guides and her ancestors to work collectively to be able to remove any blockages that my client may be dealing with at this present time. Removing and completely replenishing her energy, opening doors that perhaps have been closed for quite a while. Blockages, whether it be sent to her, <clears throat> whether it be through her karmic cycle, I ask you guys and I implore you guys to please step forward and to work in collectively in partnership with her and to the best of her interest. Okay. All right. So once we do that, what we're going to do now is we're going to get, we're going to get here the parchment paper. So what we're going to do in the, <clears throat> with the parchment paper, let me put this this side so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get the parchment paper and you guys have the option of before writing down your information and your petition you guys have the option of um, casting down a sigil so when we cast a sigil what you do is basically you either draw write. this could be done through with salt this could be done uh, as simplistic as with the marker, like in this situation, um, but you can do it a multitude of ways. Uh, what we're doing here is we are empowering the parchment paper. We are strengthening it. We are putting not only a focus, think of it as a target. We're putting the target, the sigil serves as a target uh, to be able to really pull in that focus and to empower the, your spell work that is about to be done. So 
in this situation, you can, um, you can write down the for the rune of, you know, fortune. You can cast that sigil, uh, the success one, the pact one, uh, the abundance, uh, sigils. There's thousands of sigils out there that you can, whichever you feel more comfortable with. As you guys know, if you guys have watched a lot of my money rituals, we always cast the fortune sigil. And the fortune uh, sigil is, um, I'm sure you guys have seen it in previous videos. It's very simplistic. Um, very easy to do. So what you do is you would, let me put this to the side because that's my client's information. So basically what you do is you would do a circle with a green marker or pen and you're going to do another circle, okay, like this. Then you're going to do a square. Okay, like this. I'm going to do this very quickly. Okay, so it's, um, okay, it's, it's a lot of, Okay, so it's pretty much like this. I'm sure you guys have seen it. If you haven't, I will probably be putting a picture somewhere here um, so you guys know exactly what CGO I'm doing. But anyways, moving along. Um, once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to write down with a black marker you're going to write down your first name and last name on top of the sigil. So it would be my name and date of birth. Okay. So it's going to look like this. All right. So once you do that, you're going to turn it. So once you do that, you're going to turn it to your right three times. One, two, three three okay and that's where you're going to be writing down your petition okay so you're going to write down your petition like this make sure to keep your petition inside this circle all right so once that is done it's going to look something like this all right. And what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the we're going to introduce uh, the parchment paper on top of the plate. I want to I'll probably skip this part just because I don't want you guys to see my client's information. So you're going to put the parchment paper on top of the piece. Uh, sorry, on top of your plate. What we're going to do now is we're going to get the ancestral money. We're going to get the hell notes. And what we're going to do is we're going to write down and you can use the front and the back. I always make sure to put the front and the back as well. So in the front, what I do is I basically put the exact amount that my client is needing to make, you know, to be able to make their yeah, their payments, their bills, take care of all of that as well as to bring in more abundance. 
So whatever specific amount that you have, you would write that down and you would write it down, not numerically, but you would spell it out. So you would say, as an example, I, Pinky Pink Star Doll, call forth, um, as an example, 20,000 um, every month or 5,000 every month. And you're going to write down for what? To pay my bills, to uh, make sure to have enough to uh, take care of my responsibilities, uh, to pay my car note, whatever it is that you're using this money for. Uh, to survive, basically, <laughs> right? Anyways, you're going to also sign it off once you write down what it, what it is that you're trying to bring in, as well as the amount. So you sign it off, then you're going to turn it. In the back, what you're going to do is you're going to write down, I render an offer, this offering, to my ancestral bloodline so that their karmic debts may be paid, so that they may receive these blessings in the astral world, so that they can assist me in stepping forward and guiding me and protecting me and opening the doors to abundance, to success, to stability, to growth, to advancement. Once you write that, you're going to put your first name, last name, date of birth, and you're going to sign it off and date it. Very important, okay? All right, so once you once we have that, what you're going to do is that's when you're going to light your sage or your patchouli leaves if you're burning them. You are going to have, obviously, as you guys can see here, we have ash. And that's exactly what we're going to be using. Now, at this point, at this point, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting... The five finger grass and going in a clockwise position um, now for those of you guys that don't know or have never worked with five finger grass uh, this is a herb that is uh, used specifically to remove any blockages as well as to bring good luck uh, it's a good omen in any type of spell work specifically when it has to do with money, when it has to do with business or finances. Um, so again, we're going to be putting the five finger uh, grass here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to be getting a piece of the devil's shoestring. Now, for those of you guys that have never worked uh, with this, don't get all panicked and worried like, oh my goodness, this is devil's work. It's just the name, you guys. <laughs> Trust me, if you guys wanted to know, I can teach you that too. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding, you guys, kind of. Anyways, all right, so I'm going to put it right at the center, as you guys can see, like that. And what we're going to do here is we're going to be adding some drops of the Lucky 7. Now, at this point, if you don't have Lucky 7, you can always put the money oils that you have. Okay. And what we do here is I like to pour it in a cross position and we're going to be adding some of the magnetic silver sand okay now you don't need to put very much of it here primarily um, this is used for it's a uh, serves as a magnet but we're going to be using it more for the candle. So you don't really need to put very much of it here. Now, at this point, I'm going to just add a little bit of the orange leaves oil. Okay. All right. You guys give me one second. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this spell work that is about to commence for my client. 
I ask for spirit guides and her ancestors to step forward to assist me to work in union sin with my spirit guides and my spirits present at this very moment to work collectively, to help her and to assist her, to remove any blockages that she may be currently dealing with, whether it be through karmic, whether it be through situations, circumstances, or people that perhaps have meddled in her life. I ask you to remove all of those blockages completely, to assist her in empowering the spower so that we can render results as quickly, as effortlessly, and as less resistance as possible. Okay. All right, you guys. So once we have that, what we're going to do now is we are going to add a bit of the oils to the cat candle. And the cat candles have been used uh, for many, many reasons, um, they are extremely powerful, you guys. I cannot, uh, you know, if you guys comment below, can I use any other type of candle? Uh, no, you cannot. This specific candle calls, sorry, this specific spell calls for this specific candle. So you cannot use any other other than a cat candle. Now, of course, us witches work with what we have. Yes, that's true. But if you want to get quick and fast lightning results, you need a cat candle. Okay? Can't stress that enough, my lovelies. All right. So, basically what we do is you're going to carve, at this point, you've already carved your desires onto the, the black or green candle. Um, you've dressed it with money oil uh money oil and money herbs that we're using at in this case uh good luck and to remove and for protection as well because we want to continuously keep uh f having and pulling towards us the flow of energy of money and opulence so very important um so at this point i'm also going to be putting some of the lucky seven oil Okay, what we do is you can rub Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate. All right, my lovelies. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be adding some of the some of the magnetic sand to the candle. Mm, it smells amazing, you guys. I wish you guys can smell that. All right. Okay, so once we're done with that, what we're going to do is we're going to get the jade money, the ancestral money, and we're going to rub our hands to them. You're going to be rubbing the ancestral money in your hands, putting your energy and focus, thinking at this point, really focusing in what you're trying to call in. I'm calling in success, abundance, opportunity, growth, advancement through all the riches. Okay. All right, my lovelies. So once we've done that, what we're going to do now is we're going to fold the jade, pa uh, the jade paper. You're going to fold it towards you. Okay. So, once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to get the matches and you're going to light one at a time. Now, at this point, because we've already called on our ancestors, on our archangels and our spirit guides to assist us and to my saint, Simon, 
or for those of you guys that are working with certain deities, uh, you know, at this point, you've already called them. We're going to light the ancestral money. Now, a way of reading the ancestral money is the moment it turns a jade green, that's when you know that the petition has been taken. So right now, you guys can see it is a bit red. Okay, I don't see green yet. Okay. Okay, you guys see that? It's starting to turn green right in the corner and it turned off. Okay, so it didn't completely burn. That's okay. Don't worry about that. We're going to continuously keep burning it until it is completely burnt. And then we will go on to the next bill. Now, if, if at the first uh, go, it turns, you see the color green or jade green, which is why it's called jade money then let me turn this around Yikes. then that means that your petition has been taken okay that means that your petition has been taken and at that point you don't need to light the other one now we can see some green but it didn't completely turn green. So we're going to be doing the same thing for the other one. We're going to be rolling it up towards us. Okay, and we're gonna light it again. We still have some here. Okay, it's not completely burned out, but that's okay. You guys need to be patient with this. Now, when I see this, it usually indicates that the client has been struggling or has been having difficulties in regards to money. Obviously, I know that because it's I'm doing this working for my client. But at the first go, it just means that you don't have any blockages or that your ancestors are being present at that moment. See, you see it? Now it's green. So thank you, spirits. Thank you, ancestors, for being present and guiding us. Not sure if you guys can see the green, but it is very prominent right there. It looks beautiful. Thank you, Spirit Guides, for being present. Thank you for allowing this spell work to continue to its full conclusion for my client. All right. Beautiful. All right. So what we do now is you're going to pass this around in a clockwise position and you're going to say, thank you, spirits. Thank you, ancestors, for being present and guiding us and assisting us in stepping forward for this spell work. Thank you for taking the offerings. Thank you for accepting. Thank you for accepting the offerings with love. Okay, still burning some right there. And for assisting us in bringing towards us stability, success, abundance, opulence. All right, so we still have some burning there a bit. Now, at this point, the moment you guys start burning the jade money, you're going to feel right away the presence of either your ancestors or your spirit guides. Uh, in my case, I felt uh, the presence of two of these spirit guides of my client, uh, both masculine energies. Um Anyways, I know this is information you don't really need, <laughs> but you're definitely going to feel a shift of energy happen. You're gonna, you're definitely gonna either, you know, get um, this sensation in your arms or 
like someone is hovering over you do not be scared it's just your it's probably one of your ancestors or spirit guides that are assisting you this is a spiritual uh spell this is very connected to who we are so it, it's going to be very prominent you're going to be able to either sense it feel it or see it so do not be scared you guys okay all right my lovely so once that is done what we're gonna do we still have some burning very little but we're what we're gonna do now is we're going to be passing this in a clockwise position and obviously I can still feel some of the warmth of the jade money so what you're gonna do is you're gonna rub some of the ash on the candle okay this is messy if it's not messy it's not fun <laughs> all right my lovelies now here comes the good part you guys once this is done we are ready to begin to light it all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna light it the first night of the ritual meaning today we're going to light it for seven minutes, okay? Once the seven minutes are over, you're going to snuff it out. This is very important. If you pass the seven minutes, you've broken the spell and you have to do everything all over again, okay? So we're going to light it and we're going to burn it for seven minutes. After the seven minutes, we're going to snuff it out. And then the next day, you're going to light it and you're going to leave it to burn for 11 minutes. It cannot be more. It cannot be less. You guys have to follow these instructions. Please don't comment below. Can I do it in less time? Can I do it in more? No. The first night has to be seven minutes. The second night has to be 11 minutes. The third night if at this point it hasn't burnt out on the third night you're gonna light it for seven and vice versa so it starts seven minutes the second day 11 minutes the third day seven minutes the fourth day 11 minutes all right and so on and so on and so on until it burns out now if it burns out in a very quickly manner then it's just spirits and your ancestors stepping in, allowing you or letting you know that your petition will be granted and that it's coming towards you very quickly. Keep an open mind and an open heart. All right. Okay, my lovely. So we're going to begin here with my client. And like I said, we're going to light it. We're going to light it and burn it for seven minutes. After the seven minutes are up, we are going to Okay, so we're going to light it and the moment it takes, it stops counting so we're going to burn it for seven minutes at the seventh minute mark i'm going to snuff it out and then tomorrow we're going to go to the 11 so it would be 11 minutes after the 11 minutes you snuff it out and you continue um, until it is completely extinguished okay all right so once this has once the candle has been completely extinguished and it has completed um, all the way to the bottom, you're going to have wax around uh, the parchment paper. And that's why we use the aluminum, because it's easier. What you're trying to do is not break the wax. So once the spell work is done, once the candle is completed, you're going to get the aluminum and you can fold it 
to be able to not fold it in the sense of like it's easy to pick it up um it's easy to pick it up with the aluminum aluminum foil aluminio you guys get what i'm saying anyways um so when you get that when the candle is completely extinguished and it's done the spell work is done so what you do after that you're going to get the aluminum with the um with all of the contents of the spell work and you're going to keep it either in your altar or you're going to put it away somewhere no one's going to be able to touch it or see it or snoop around it whatnot you're going to keep it with you in a safe place okay once you start to see and trust me when i tell you guys your ancestors or your spirit guides are definitely going to let you know when that petition is coming towards you because they will start to give you signs okay and it could be signs that you know at four in the morning you hear like a crack in the wall <laughs> it's happened so i'm just <laughs> warning you guys not in a bad way take those messages and acknowledge them it's just them wanting for you to acknowledge their presence and that they're making it happen for you okay all right my lovely so i have exactly two more minutes before i snuff this candle out and we will continue tomorrow i hope you guys get amazing results comment below let us know uh, what your results were and i guarantee if you guys do this with uh, focus, determination, and genuine love. Very important because this is a very spiritual, um, very spiritual ritual that connects you to your background, to your ancestors, to your lineage. Uh, if you do it from a good heart, I guarantee you, you're going to be blown away. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see each other soon. Bye. Thank you.